Earlier this summer at Jacob's Well in Hayes County, a swimming spot known for its constant flowing water dried up. It's here scientists with the Barton Springs Edwards Aquifer Conservation District are digging research wells. We put in 10 monitor zones and that goes down to the lower Trinity. Hydrologist Brian Smith led the study at Jacob's Well, which is fed by the Trinity Aquifer. For some people, and for the Trinity in particular, that's about their only source of drinking water. Think of the Trinity Aquifer as a house. Scientists know that it's a three-story house with water at various levels on each of the floors. As we put in this well and started collecting data, we saw there's perched aquifers. Not only does the aquifer house have floors, but also rooms. Some of this water can travel from room to room, while in others, the door is shut, trapping water. So we're really looking at these, these different subunits and seeing which ones are more vulnerable. You could be living over the dining room with a well with constant access to water, while your buddy may be living over the guest bathroom door locked and only a limited supply. If they have a well, they have a pump at a certain depth, and that water level might go down below where their pump is. The Texas Water Development Board is footing the bill for the research. One of the major functions of the groundwater division at the Texas Water Development Board is to collect data and house data and make it publicly available. Natalie Ballou is the director of the groundwater division at the TWDB. It all goes into um, our models so that we have the best available science to make those kind of long-term projections. Once complete, the research research will be made publicly available, providing a better understanding of the aquifers and helping the conservation districts in the future. We're looking at the possibility that in 50 years from now, the growth in water demand in Hayes County will be almost three times what it is today. Meaning soon, without proper planning, much of the area's water could be dried up. In Austin, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News.